Do you think Burrow is going to be the best player on the field tonight? Nope. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to be the best player on the field tonight. Listen, if it makes you all feel any better, I'm rooting for your, ti for your Tigers because it would be more interesting to get another national championship. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to come up here and tell you what you want to hear. Trevor Lawrence, last season, was better than everyone else. And when it mattered most, it was a joke. He was a man playing with boys. And the funny thing is, he's the boy. He's the young guy. He's the guy who's not even as good as he's going to be yet. Joe Burrows is, is like, he's older than Lamar Jackson. He's 23 years old. He's got his, in, in the fight game, we call it our, his man bones. He's already a man. Right? Like, and, and, he's, and he's had an insane all-time great season. But with the chips on the line, look, Trevor Lawrence started slow, right? First seven games, eight interceptions. You know what he did in the second half? 22. No interceptions. Nothing but touchdowns. 72% completion. They have... He is trending in the right direction and like Deshaun Watson. Last year, I wanted to see, with the chips on the line, how does this kid perform? He dissected them. And it never even got to like chips on the line because it was a blowout. And part of the reason it was a blowout is they had a machine at quarterback. Sorry, folks. I think he's going to be on the, the best player on the field again. Stephen A., go ahead and then let me wrap this thing up, man. In a game like this, I expect this game to be a shootout. I think both teams are going to score over 40. That's what I think. I think it's going to be a flat-out shootout. But I will tell you the player to keep your eyes on. And it's actually two of them, in Clyde Edwards-Alaire, and of course, with Clemson, Travis at the end. Yeah. And I'm looking, and let me tell you something about Travis. Travis has over 1,500 yards rushing. Travis, Bad brother, as you Travis averages eight yards a carry. Yeah. And in a game like this, particularly national championship games, even though Justin Ross, the wide out for Clemson, showed out last year with 153 yards on six receptions in the national championship blowout game, a uh, blowout win over Alabama, the reality of the situation is, particularly in games like this, whoever runs the ball most effectively usually ends up, you know, getting it done. That's not to say that's going to happen tonight, but what I'm saying to you is, to me, He's the X factor because even though Ross is still there, Mari Rogers is still there, T. Higgins is still there, I believe that if you throw the ball too much, even as great as I think Trevor Lawrence is, I think LSU can get you. Where it's going to be a problem for them is if Travis Etienne ultimately runs the ball effectively because if that happens yeah. and you got to load the box in any way to neutralize him, then Trevor Lawrence is going to have a field day. And that's what I think you got to watch out for. I agree with the X Factor. Travis Etienne, if, if he's able to go off with the ground game and with the screen game, he is an absolute explosive player. Also, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, other yep. side, you mentioned him. Both of those guys have a chance to be the X Factor. Yep. But I want to go back to, to the question what Max was talking about. Trevor Lawrence is a great quarterback, and, and he has had a lot of ice water in his veins. He's got a lot of poise. He's got one of the strongest arms in the country. But who has been the best player this year? Without a doubt, it has been Joe, Joe Burrow. Burrow. Without a doubt. What he has done this year, you can make the argument, it is the best season in college football history. Beating six There's top... There's a guy who had a couple of them. Beating six top ten teams. Mm -hmm. beat, if he wins tonight, he will be the only person in history to have beat the preseason number one, two, three, and four teams in the country. But not only has he... Not only does he have six top 10 wins, not only would he beat the one, two, three, and four teams in the country, but he's played his best when it's needed on third and 17 against Texas. When Alabama finally drives down the field and makes it a game, he answers nonstop over and over again. And then sometimes one thing you have to look at is you just ha have to look at destiny, man. When you sit back and you look at this season, him going from Ohio State to LSU, not having the best season last year, Joe Brady coming in, him working nonstop, leading these receivers, having one of the best seasons of all time, winning the Heisman Trophy, and getting to play the national championship in right. his home state now. Okay. I, have I think he's going to be on I fire. have an aversion to something you said, and then I have questions. My aversion is 
damn it, we talk about national championship and real competition, don't bring me Texas. I won't hear nothing about Texas, okay? Not, not, not the Texas long. I don't believe in them. I never believed in them. This what about I'm, Georgia, Oklahoma, I'm, Alabama, that's Auburn? True. That's it. Now, but here's the difference. Even though LSU was on the come up, right, to me, it's two conditions under which Joe Burrow's been playing this year. Either they're ready to knock somebody off the Alabamas of the world, Georgia to a lesser degree with what Kirby Smart is building there, and or you find yourself in a blowout situation where you're running away and somebody's playing from behind. Yeah. The national championship game, the moment, how momentous it is, if it is a kind of nearby, if I want to see something, and I have no doubt that Joe, listen, Joe Burrow deserved the Heisman. Please don't get me wrong. 5,200 yards passing, 50, 55 touchdowns, yeah. just six interceptions. Please, he deserves it. No question about that. But my question about him is the one situation I want to see him in. We're looking at LSU now, and we recognize yes. them as the juggernaut that they are. Yes. It's the national championship game. What if it's a nail biter? And it comes down to you against that other dude. You see, at some point in time, that's There's a man's moment that shows up. That's what I'm And I'm saying about. I haven't seen Joe Burrow in that situation. That, this is what I'm talking about, Tim. That's what I want to see. This is what I wanted to bring up. I think of the NBA last year. The best player all year was the Greek freak. But then with the chips on the line, Kawhi was the best player. Yeah. So if you had to say who had the best year last year, it was Kawhi because yes. he was almost as good. And in the biggest leverage, he was he the best. Up. We can't say Joe Burrow's had the greatest season of all time if he doesn't finish the deal. With the chips on the line, can he be better than Trevor Lawrence, especially against That's right. a defense? Like the LSU defense had a turning point. But we've seen them give up a lot of points in but, games but, this year. But you also have to go back and use, use the same illustration for yourself. Trevor Lawrence last year, it wasn't a close game. Tua got spooked. Brent Venables won the game with his defensive calls. He threw into two-trap coverage, yep. and the game was over. Tua was spooked. It wasn't a close game. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.